Hello everybody, welcome back to Crafty Canines. I'm Sophie and I just wanted you guys to be here when I finish this diamond painting. Um, it is once upon a dark night, which is uh, by Diamond Art Club. Well, distributed by Diamond Art Club. Created by Mandy Benzano. And, uh... <clears throat> I haven't worked on this diamond painting in a little bit. I'm sorry about the sniffles. It's my day off, therefore my allergies need to go crazy. But, uh, so I haven't worked on this diamond painting in a minute. Because I ran out of diamonds. But Diamond Art Club was real quick to, uh, replace the diamonds. and So, very excited about that. I got them in a few days ago, but I was not able to work on the diamond painting because I had work. So, <clears throat> I just wanted you guys to be here whenever I finish this up. So, uh, I am still working on a time lapse of the Unicorn Premium Diamond Dots <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to try my hand at doing a voiceover on the final video so that'll be interesting Let's see if I can talk for that long I should have done three and two on that one yeah but yeah, so, uh, Diamond Art Club, thank you so much for the replacement diamonds, or whatever you want to call them. Um, they were very, very quick to respond which was very nice, especially compared to uh, the other company that I'm missing diamonds from and I still haven't heard anything back. And I believe that was back in like June. I actually have to check my emails to uh, <clears throat> see when I sent that email off, but yeah. So, I received the diamonds in two different uh, shipments. Yeah, let's call it that. So, because I, I first realized that I was missing one, and then, like, the next day or a couple days later, I uh, finished up the diamond painting, and I realized that I was missing this one. Look at it! It's all done! Uh, I hate it whenever they pop up like that. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Now, I did already kit this diamond painting down. So, uh, I received the diamonds in two different containers. Two different ways. So, this is the first one that I was missing. So, I received that one first, and this is the second one that I was missing, which they actually gave me in the Diamond, Diamond Art Club uh, little things. Okay, so let's see here. So, I will now attempt to find the baggie that goes to this one. Aha, found you. Okay, so this is the one that we were missing. So we're just going to open up the baggie. And I 
like that. And then we will attempt to pour these right in here. Now the question is, will I open the other bags to put them in here? Or will I not worry about it and just leave them in the containers that I got them in? I guess that is a question for another time or day or something. But now this goes back in here. And you know what, I'm just gonna put the baggies in this big baggie for now. One, two, three, four, five. And they will be happy right in there. And then these two, right there. I had to seal that up. And this diamond painting is now complete. Okay, so. Quick thing. Let's go ahead and jump right into the post review. So. I keep all of the uh, trash drills because it just works for me. So here are the trash drills from this diamond painting. There's a few little odds and ends in there. But okay, so. Most of the trash drills are just, you know, stuff stuck together like this one. And I just don't want to break them up and try to use them that way. The other way that I make it a trash drill is if it's got holes in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah. Or if it's um, bowing out on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Or if it's bowing in. So like that one. That one does not have enough. Um, it's too thin. Let's go with that. So, just like this one over here. It's too thin. And then you've also got, you know, the, the normal trash, like, leftover parts. But, yeah. So, this trash. We'll now join our big bag of trash. Uh, yeah, that made sense, didn't it? Our, our little baggie of trash from a combination of all of our diamond paintings that we've grabbed trash from so far. And then I think this container is on its last leg. I'll just tear that off. There we go. And again, I'm sorry about the sniffles. It's just... I swear, my body is... retaliating because it's a day off. Come here, you. There we go. Okay. So here's the combination of all the different trash drills that I've received so far. Except for the ones that I'm still working on the diamond painting. If I'm still working on the diamond painting, then those trash drills have not joined the trash drill bag, I should say. Again, allergies, good God. Okay, so, 
even with the problems of the missing diamonds, which were resolved so quickly, I didn't even know what to do with myself. I really did enjoy this diamond painting. Now, I do need to go through and just pop some of these diamonds back into place. And there, there are two ways that I'll do it. I'll do it like this, where I'm literally just running my hands over the entire painting. And wherever I feel one that's popped up, I'll just real quick push it back down. Or I'll use my roller, which, where did I put my roller? Mm, not in there. Yeah, my husband. Oh, there it is. I see it. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So, this is my little roller thing. And, uh, it works great for just popping all the drills back in at once. And it's kind of satisfying if you have a, uh, a few diamonds that are just not really wanting to stick, I guess. I, I don't know. So let's remove the light board real quick. Put it off to the side over here. Whoop, sorry. Let's grab these magnets real quick that hold our light board up. There we go. Okay. Now we will undo these clips. We will unroll this here diamond paper. It will not fit on my desk completely because of the mounts there. But we will remove those. We'll stretch it out to there. Seems that Don needed to stretch his legs. Okay, so. This is how this thing works. You just run it straight across. And sometimes you hear little popping pops, like just then. You guys probably couldn't hear it because I was talking. Okay, now look at this beautiful picture. And it feels so nice too. I definitely love this. And I mean, I am working on a premium right now, which I don't, yeah, I'll get into that one later. But yeah, so even with the missing diamonds, I would definitely give this like, a nine or a ten because the uh, the diamonds are so nice I mean they're all I, I don't even know what to say like I, I don't have a whole bunch of trash so I really enjoyed that um, trash that I did have was 
minimal at best. But yeah, so um, I would definitely recommend Diamond Art Club. And I definitely love the sparkle. So uh, this one I did start uh, July 10th. And I finished it today, which is August 17th. So, a month-ish. Well, a month and a week, give or take. A day or two. To finish this. It's so nice! Sorry, I, ha I have a, a problem with touching. Especially when it's nice like this. But yeah, so, uh... Sorry, I had an itch. Uh, this is Once Upon a Dark Night, which is Melisandre from uh, Game of Thrones. And it was designed by Mandy Manzano and distributed by Diamond Art Club. So I will let you guys go from here. I'm sorry, it's such a short video, but uh, my allergies are getting the better of me today. Uh, I will give you guys an update on the time lapse here in a little bit. I will be rolling this one back up and putting it in its baggie, which then goes in its box. So that's why I keep the bags and the boxes, just to make it nice and simple, because I do not have the space to leave all of my diamond paintings laying around, and that way they are protected from fluffy fur, yeah, because they like to leave their fur everywhere, and from flying feathers from little miss blue ball blue bell sorry blue bell who likes to throw her feathers around from some time from time to time all right i will let you guys go from here uh thank you for everybody that has subscribed thank you for all the likes uh if you leave a comment i do get back to you guys fairly quickly and uh, have a great week. Uh, I believe it's still Wednesday. I could be wrong though. But have, have a great week. And happy crafting everybody. Bye.